We're trying to get through this 150,000 piece order. We're done with 100,000 pieces. So Jada and I are heading out to um, the Walmart near the shop because um, she finally got some money where she could go buy a nice purse. You know, Jada and I love purses. And I got I, the worst habits of both parents. I love shoes and I love purses. <laughs> I don't like, I don't, I'm not crazy about shoes though. But um, they didn't have her purse at that Walmart. No. Sucks. But just now we stopped on the way because we saw a little dog run across the street. So we stopped, of course, because we didn't want to hit the dog. There's a man chasing after the little dog. So thank you, Jesus, I didn't hit the man. Girl. And then there's a pit bull that raced across the street. It looks like a pit bull mix, though, right, Jada? Yeah, it looks mixed with And something. it ran after a German shepherd that was on a leash. The shepherd looks like a puppy, though, right? It's a puppy. Yeah, yeah. like eight months old or so. And the shepherd's trying to fight, but you can't fight a pit bull. And they're getting ready to tangle. Yeah. And Jada's screaming. And the guys... I mean, they totally look like white trash. <laughs> they know, no they offense. Look, they look like you white know trash. That movie, um, uh, Joe Dirt. No. They look like that guy with Joe Dirt. Oh, damn, I can't even think of it right now. <laughs> think of it. The Jada. hills have eyes. They look like those. <laughs> <laughs> they do. And they run over there, and one of them grab the um, pit bull and throw his body over the yes, pit bull. Yes, it would have been hit. Wait, yeah. he threw his body on top of him first, and then got a hold of the leash and started punching, punching the it. pit bull in the head. Oh my god! And Jada was screaming, and I'm like, "Don't down the window and tell them nothing. They're gonna kill nothing. us. They're gonna kill us. Oh my god!" And so then they got a hold of the two dogs and the poor shepherd. And I'm like, if you are walking with the dogs like that, release the leash yeah. because they can fight or flight. But if you have the leash, they're gonna get their tail whipped or they're gonna, you know, you know, fight the other dog. So it's like, oh my god, oh my god, my heart's racing. <laughs> I was like, that was some like weird <sighs> event. For a Sunday morning. Oh lordy lord, let me calm down. Let me simmer down. It's Tuesday morning. It's February the 22nd or the 23rd. I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to check the almanac when I get to work. Who says the almanac still? <laughs> Joe and I knew an older Jamaican man and he would never say the calendar or the calenda. That's how we say it in Creole, calenda. He would say the almanac. Crazy, you remember him, Joe? Mr. Clark? Mm. Wanna say morning, babe? Mm. Wanna say morning? Morning, people. Are you feeling okay today? You're not like you're not getting tired from the job we're doing, right? I'm feeling alright. We went to the gym, so he's feeling alright. We went to the gym yesterday, actually. I feel, and, I feel better mm, if I got some money in my pocket, though. Money always makes you feel better. I, I don't care who says, "Oh, uh, money," you know, it's a, it's the root of all evil. It's the love of money that's the root of all evil. We don't love it like that, but you need money to render for goods and services in this world today. So yeah. ain't nobody doing no trades no more. <clears throat> Anyways, um, we're planning to have a birthday party for mom. Her birthday is March the 24th. Um, she's going to have to see what the chemo schedule is and then we can pick the date. It's not going to be March the 24th for sure because that's on Holy Thursday and Belizeans don't have parties during Lent for the most part. So Lent ends shortly after that. Um, it's Holy Thursday on the 24th, Good Friday on the 25th. And I guess Easter's on the 27th of April, if I have the calendar correct. So it would probably be the next week, the 2nd or the 3rd of April, or the week after that. Just depending on the chemo schedule, because we don't want her ill when we're having the party. It's not a surprise party. She's fully aware of it. And we planned it because we wanted to place a little bit of joy in her future so that she can look forward to chemo because... You know, let's not get it twisted. We pray that this chemo works to put this these cells at bay because if she doesn't do something about it, they will form a mass and attack her organs and kill her or they'll go to her brain. Okay, this is my cousin Susie because we have bad news about her dad. Hey, cuz. So that's my uncle's daughter, my cousin Sue, and um, her dad, which is my mom's older brother, he's the one that started the walk with the walker for the first time when he turned 70 on January 22nd. Well, he's in the hospital right now and they're saying, stop Joe, they're saying he has uh, salmonella poisoning and he has also suffered three small strokes. I don't know if they're ischemic or hemorrhagic and I know that they do make a difference which one it is. So uh, we're trying to get some information out of there and then when I know, I'll let you guys know, okay? So definitely we've had a couple of setbacks with health situations, but we're not gonna let it 
uh, press us down. We're just going to keep praying and believing. Now back to my mom's birthday party. Jada and I have decided we're going to do a medley of songs from the years that my mom had her babies. So for my older brother, that's 65. For me, that's 66. My um, younger sister is um, 1972 and my baby brother is 1984. So we've already decided on the song for 1965 and it's going to be Make the World Go Away by Jim Reeves. My mom is just going to bawl because for the first reason, that's my mom calling back. Let's see if we have news from Belize. Hello? Uh-huh. It's a seizure. It's a yes. So it's not strokes? I don't know. I know why I'm making it dark. It's dark when they go up, no? But you, you say you had a seizure? Uh-huh. Yeah, you had one and it thing again. It's a seizure. It's a yes. It's been a busy morning of phone calls, right? First my cousin and then my mom. And you guys heard my mom just now on the speakerphone. We're not sure if he's had strokes or seizures because he does suffer from seizures since he's had the stroke three years ago. So I'm hoping that it's only seizures and we can come back with a good report. Anyways, um, back to the songs from my mom's birthday party. So for 1966, we were thinking that we were going to do You Don't Have to Say You Love Me Just Because You Can, that one, Just Be Close at Hand or whatever. Um, <clears throat> But the song's kind of hard for me to learn because the two verses are easy enough, but then the chorus changes keys and changes melody. Oh, it's going to be hard. So if you guys have a suggestion for a song from 1966, it has to be 66 though, not just from the 60s, okay? You guys tell me and then we could try to see if we'll put it in. Hi, baby. I'm not your I didn't say boo-boo, I said baby. <laughs> <clears throat> so you're starting with a new screen today? How many screens did you make for this job, babe? Four? Three? Three? And, and this is what? Second or third one? Uh, I use the old one, but I use the microphone and back up much. Why does it release sometimes? It's, you didn't glue it enough or we didn't stretch it tight enough? Or? See, screen. Joe has an old stretcher, guys. Let me the show you. Needs to be clean. See, this is an old stretcher that's... What does this work on? Hydraulics? Yeah. This stretcher. What does it work on? Tubes? On tubes. And this is the thing that we're selling, this transformer. Some people are watching it at the site that I have it at. So let's take an assessment, guys. The ones on the machine four pallets are done and packaged. And we have this to do here. It takes 10 minutes to do a box, all right? And then these are two pallets here. And then we have four here. So definitely today is Tuesday already. Definitely we're hoping to finish. How much today, babe? How much we're hoping to finish today? One full one and this one right here to finish today. Okay, so you see how slowly it goes because each box holds almost 500, 489. But we're still not worn out. We're, we're getting rest at night, right? We're going to the gym and getting rest at night, so that helps. I'm not sure if I shared with you guys or not, but we're planning a trip to go to Utah um, on Memorial Day weekend to go see Kathy and Brian and Megan and of course the new baby and Giselle and we're gonna stay at Brian's house because he has more room so he has to know about the trip but we wanted to surprise Kathy and Megan but I already told Kathy because Kathy was having such a bad day the other day that I'm like I better give her something to cheer her up so um, I'm being quiet because Joe's moving the pallet jack I'm really hoping that we can have the funds to go. It's a nine hour drive, so all we would need would be gas and a little bit of spending money because they wouldn't allow us to spend the money anyways. That's how they are when you go up there. No, we're doing this, we're doing that. And of course we would do a show from there. You're gonna turn on the compressor, babe? I better head back to the office because he's gonna turn on that compressor. It's Wednesday, February the 24th. Update on my Uncle Norman. It was not strokes that he had, it was seizures. He suffers with seizures ever since he had the first stroke and he is on meds, but because he had the salmonella poisoning and the fever got so bad, it threw him into his um, seizures. So I'm so happy that he's doing much better today and he will be released from the hospital and sent home to recuperate. And then when he's better, he's gonna go back into his physical therapy so he can continue walking and eventually walk without the walker. So I'm so glad he did not have stroke setbacks, okay? They did say that his heart is not operating at 100%, nor his kidneys, nor his brain. But I think the brain was because of the seizures. So, but he is coherent. He's talking to my mom. He's concerned for mom and he is with us, okay? 
Um, mommy, the update on her, she's going to get tapped today for the um, remaining water that they did not remove on Valentine's weekend. It's still a procedure, even though it's not like open heart surgery, it's still surgery. And I still worry for her whenever she's going to go get drained. But after she gets drained today, then she'll feel a whole lot better. She's not feeling too bad right now, but she's going to feel that much better after she gets drained. Um, the update on Joe's dad, he's feeling a lot better, still in the hospital, still we don't know what's wrong with him. But, you know, it's hard to get news out of Belize because everybody has a different story to tell. And, of course, Joe can't call and talk directly to his dad because he's in the hospital. Um, Joe woke up this morning to some sad news. A childhood friend of his, they were friends since kindergarten. This guy is... Uh, related to Joe's brother. Joe has a few siblings that don't have the same dad that he does. And so it was one of Joe's brother's siblings. And he passed away. Uh, Joe says they were friends since kindergarten. We came in contact with him several times here in California since Joe and I have been together. And um, I, I didn't care for the guy too much. I didn't dislike him. But he was just a different type of personality than I want in my life. Like he was loud and he cussed still and he drank and he smoked and he was still in that lifestyle, you know, in the world. And so I just kind of like stayed away. And so um, he became friends with Joe on Facebook and we would see him at funerals. And then we would meet people in the parking lot that would say, oh, he wants your number again. And Joe would give his number again and they would talk on the phone again. And that would be the extent of the friendship. We never went to his house. He never came to our house. And so basically that's what it is. So it was very sad when Joe turned on Facebook and he saw everybody saying RIP, RIP, RIP. And I think he kind of felt like I did when I turned on Facebook and saw that that one lady that died. Remember my Facebook friend that used to be a friend that was an enemy at one point? I think Joe kind of felt like that. He's like, wow, we were friends since kindergarten. And I think Joe still considered him a friend, even though they didn't have visits physically in life. But in any case, he's gone. Cancer, I heard. I don't know what type. And I really don't know if Joe will want to attend the funeral. I kind of hope not, because I really don't want to have to see Joe's family members. Do the pictures? Mm -hmm. So this is Joe's dad. This is how he's keeping track of how his dad's doing. Yeah, that's a better one. Yeah, give me a better one. Mm, how old is your dad? Like 80 something? Hmm? This is Joe's sister and the dad. They say he has a high fever that will not abate. But he looks good. Okay, hmm. go back to that one. This is his wife and that's one of Joe's brother's wife on the left. Let's go back. This is Joe's older brother. You kind of favor, don't they? He looks good though. Mm -hmm. So I'm messing with Joe and I told him he has Zika. <laughs> yeah? Zika virus. Because they say Zika is rampant in Belize right now because Belize has a lot of mosquitoes. But um, he doesn't have the symptoms though. He has a lung infection, right? Mm -hmm. And I don't know if it's bronchitis or pneumonia, but it's a lung infection. Zika comes with a rash. <laughs> he doesn't have a rash. <laughs> the kids are like, you're awful. <laughs> So this is the assessment guys, um, this palette's done, we're done with the packing, we're halfway done with this one. These two boxes on this palette right here need to be printed and then we have four full palettes left. There's 25 boxes to a palette and 489 to a box. So we have approximately 100,000 bottles, not 100,000, I'm sorry, 50,000 bottles left to print. So one, a two, a three, a four. So we have 13 palettes, but the 13th one it has only 7 boxes on it, okay? Not 25. So Joe is fixing. Um, I don't get scared when he has to fix mechanical stuff with this machine because I think he knows this machine better than he knows me. But I do get scared when, he has to, scared when he has to fix electricity type stuff. So this is mechanical. A hose busted. And he's going to replace it. In the meanwhile, I don't have anything to do unless I want to go in the office and pack, but... I'm not in packing mode right now. I'm in printing mode until Joshua comes. And so, take a look, see? This machine uses hydraulics and pneumatics. Let me see if I can take you to the pneumatic side of it over here, right where I stand. And by the way, this machine has a lot of red buttons all over it where we can stop it. See this red button right here? I, I didn't get too close on it. <laughs> that red button right there. All right, so that's what I would press if Joe's hand was caught in it. And I'm waving at the camera. And Joe's gonna come and check to make sure <laughs> that it's recording. See the holes in his mouth, we're so silly. 
Yo, we have to laugh. I'm blowing him kisses now. I mess with him all day, guys. And then look, he says Mario's not at work, so I'm checking my phone because I'm supposed to watch Norman for Mario in case he needs to bring him up this weekend, but he's going to go to a wedding. But he was going to try to find somebody to do it there. So look, see? Mario's right there on TV. So I'm showing him, see? Your oldest son is at work today. So as you guys can see, that's all we're doing. We're printing, we're packing, we're stopping the fixed machine issues, and we're trying to get through this 150,000 piece order. We're done with 100,000 pieces. We got 50,000 more to go. We can do about 20,000 pieces a day. So Joe is estimating maybe by next Wednesday we'll be done because we're, we're gonna have to stop and pack some of these because we're running out of boxes to use. But I wanted to give you a quick update. It's Thursday, if I didn't say that yet. It's Thursday, February the 25th. Um, um, update on Uncle Norman. He can't go home yet because they found a mass in his stomach. They want to do a CT scan and a colonoscopy to see what that is. And I'm hoping that it's not something major. And you guys know where my mind went with that. But I choose to always believe the least that could be wrong first before I believe the most that could be wrong. So mom goes for a uh, chest scan today, but that was already ordered when she was having the heartburn issues. So they're only following through on that. That's not something that we're worried about at least. So anyways, I gotta go back to the machine. I think Joe is done with the repair, a hose busted. So he's done with the repair and I gotta go back to the machine till Joshua gets here at 10. And then I think Leah and mom, Leah's mom Yoli, might stop by for a visit. I'm gonna put them to work. Pack some boxes, Leah, pack some boxes. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, liking, and subscribing. Please check out my other channels right here to the right of your screen, the cooking channel, the product review channel, and Joe's channel. The links are in the description box.